Hi everyone, it's Kieran here with Magical Traveller. Hope you're having a great day. And today we are on board Ambassador Ambition and we've had a one night sailing. So it's just going to be a quick little preview sailing to get a feel for Ambassador. And um, they've invited us on just to kind of give us a bit of a closer feel. I've been on board um, the other ship as well, just to kind of get a feel ambience, um, see what the ship's about. But this has kind of been a bit of a sailing overnight just to kind of feel how meal service works and things like that. We've had a lovely time. Um, Ambassador are a premium value cruise line. So you're going to find really competitive prices for it but obviously you're going to find really good quality drinks as well on board as well as really good um, quality food as well but what I'm going to do is give you a little look around now we are staying in an inside cabin it is in a twin configuration but obviously can be set as a double configuration as well but come have a little look so just to show you as you come in that's obviously the doors we come through it and then you've got your full length mirror now there is a, a mark on there so me and Phil have been staying in this room so if you do see any kind of stains on the wall if you see any towels or anything like that used or the beds that made that's because obviously we are staying in these cabins at the moment so just please disregard regard that we'd like to stay in a room first to give you get a feel for it before we tell you guys what it's actually like to stay in it so we can tell you kind of any pros and cons of the rooms now as i say that's coming in this is going to be your main light switch for the room and that's looking back then into the main room where you can see the two beds which again can be configured into a double bed if you do want that to happen but then again so as you come in you've got your wardrobe space here with your life vest at the top but again, plenty of wardrobe space as well for your kind of your clothes and again fantastic for those really long voyages if you are going to be doing them but again, another storage unit here then as well with the chest of drawers and then the laundry service. So you've got self-service laundry on board, but you can also then as well do the kind of um, typical laundry service where you kind of send your clothes off if you want to do that. So there's a guide there. I will just hold the prices up in better light so you guys can get an idea of just how much laundry services if you did want to do dry cleaning on board and press service and things like that. Then going back around then, this is going to be where the bathroom is. Now, again, so um, she is an old girl. She's an old ship. So she's obviously not going to have a lot of the modern conveniences that you may get on some of the newer ships. But that doesn't mean she doesn't lack in space or charm either. Typical cruise bathroom. So again, really modern looking now. They've renovated the rooms on board. So you can kind of see there as well, new wash units and things like that. Plenty of storage space for your kind of your toiletries and things like that. And then again, toothbrush holders on the side with extra pegs as well for hanging things if you needed to. Um, again, what's really nice is they don't have the um, fabric, uh, I never remember the name for it, uh, shower curtains, that's the word. <laughs> um, so you don't have a shower curtain, you have an actual glass shower as well, which is really nice as well. And again, perfectly fine shower unit. There's the toiletries you can see that you get included. Personally, just because I don't have particularly fussy skin, but I've got skin issues I need to worry about. So I don't depend on board toiletries. Um, these are, again, they are very much in the value category, so you're not going to find kind of premium toiletries in your cabin. But again, it's nice to know that if you do forget yours, um, you do have it included as well. Or if you're fine with what's included, you do have your toiletries included on board as well. So again, nothing fancy, but again, perfectly fine. Ignore the towel on the floor, sorry. Um, but perfectly fine bathroom units as well. Perfect for getting ready in. And then going across then into the main room then. So this is kind of going to be the main room. So this can be set up for four. Now, again, you're probably not going to want to get four in this room because it's a bit tight, but you do, you can, if you wanted to, get four of you sharing this inside cabin. Um, and then again, you've got your two beds now here. The bed's perfectly comfy. Um, I slept really well on it. We did have a very bumpy crossing across the Irish Sea last night, so that did keep me awake longer than planned, but that's not a complaint on the room. <laughs> it's a complaint on the oceans, which the captain has no control over. But again, really lovely and soft pillows as well. I'm sure you can ask for more if you need them as well. And again, a bedside phone then as well if you need to contact the um, hotel management team for any kind of in room service or any issues with your cabin then you've got these two bedside light reading lights in as well so again one on each unit so you could use that if you needed to for a bedside light and i haven't used this light but i believe yeah that's the light control which you'll see behind controls the main cabin lights so yeah the bunk beds there as well if you do need to use them but like i say i highly doubt you would in this particular ship um that's probably when she was in her former life as a costa ship we're a bit more family friendly um ambassador is very much more a mature market as well it's kind of classic cruise it's going to get my kick out warning now watch back again that was a disembarkation announcement that came into the cabins because we are meant to be disembarking now so i'm going to quickly show you around the rest of the room <laughs> um, whilst that's happening so this is going to be the vanity mirror area so i just found where the lights are as well um so you do have lighting control here into the unit so that's going to control your vanity mirror as well so you can kind of get ready if you need to or do any kind of work if you're on board um as well as then there's going to be the onboard power so there's going to be your usb socket so you've got a usb and a usb c which is really interesting they have a fast charge usb socket which i missed last night um and then two uk sockets one european 
in socket as well. So again, plenty of storage and charging space there for you if you need to. Now, I didn't realize this either, but there is also then a storage unit down here as well. So you need to store stuff, you've got that there. And then again, because this is a British cruise, you do have your in-room tea coffee facilities there as well, which I think is really, really cool. Um, then you're gonna have kind of your guide then as well to Ambassador. So if you are looking to kind of look at future voyages or learn a little bit more about the Ambassador brand, then you do have that guide there for you as well then as your breakfast room service menu as well. So obviously as per usual, just fill that out and pop that on your door. Now there is a charge of £8.95 per tray um, if you want to have breakfast in your room. Again, another storage unit here on the side where the hairdryer is located. And that is the only plug that will accept the hairdryer is here. There is no other plug in the cabin that will do that. Thermostat control is here for the aircon as well. We haven't touched it, but that's what it is if you need to use it. And then over here then, just to quickly show you, this is gonna be the TV unit. Now our TV's not working, and because we were only on for one night and we didn't realize that it was quite late, I haven't called to ask what the problem is. It could be as simple as the batteries are flat, um, but other people have said they do have on-demand service. You can kind of view the ship's activities and you can watch movies and things like that on board. Um, so you can totally do that there as well. And then there's a menu there as well for the onboard, onboard spa if you want to, a quick little glimpse of some of the prices if you want to kind of slow um, pause this and have a look on there but again really nice spa facilities and then more storage down there then for your kind of um, beach towels and things like that for you if you need to take them up to the pool to the Lido deck and then one last unit up here as well then which is where the safe's going to be located so again you've got your safe out there if you need to use it so guys, what do you think? This is gonna be then um, on board Ambassador um, Ambition. This is a really great ship. Again, really good premium value cruise line. I couldn't understand what they meant by premium cruising, but now I've been on board, I get the idea for it, basically. You're getting really good priced cruise, really good value cruises, value for money on them as well. Drinks are kind of like six pounds a cocktail. So again, really reasonable prices on board, but the food quality is gonna be really great. But what you're gonna miss out on is loads of extra perks as well that you may find on some of the more premium cruise lines. So there's a lot of kind of extras on premium cruises where you're going to get like things like ice cream included um all day buffet available all the hours whereby the buffet does close and there's no kind of late night meal service you just have to wait for canapes to come around things like that basically um so you're going to lose a lot of the extra frills that you're going to get on the premium cruise lines but the core offering and the quality of what is included in your cruise fit is incredibly high for the price point you are paying so definitely don't have overlook ambassador cruise line they're a fantastic new uk only cruise line they specialize in no fly cruises as well so um if you're somebody who doesn't like flying to get away and definitely for kind of maybe short breaks or for long haul breaks if you want to kind of go down to the mediterranean and further afield you can totally do that with ambassador on some of their longer sailings as well they also do regional departures as well so if you're somebody who wants to depart from liverpool from belfast from bristol then definitely um have a look at ambassador you're going to have your regional departures where you can join part of a sailing or a different destination as well and some pay potentially some open Open jaws as well so if you maybe wanted to sail from bristol to tilbury maybe and do a couple of nights in london and then get the train or coach back then totally we can help you do that as well with ambassador cruise lines other than that guys i hope you've really enjoyed this video tour definitely check out our website if you want to learn a little bit more information or if you're interested in booking an ambassador cruise with us you can find us online at magical-traveler.com or you can follow all our social medias under magical t-r-v-l-r other than that guys hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you soon bye